ladies and gentlemen panorama hotel life in bukavu this is amazing what What's up guys? Today is another day, my second day right here in Bukavu and I'm with my cousin again, you saw him yesterday in the yesterday video Yeah, so we're going today to Labote uh, district So this is this place where we are, we are at Ibanda, Tenet Ibanda District Yanderere mm, Nderere So now, Nderere <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is home, but I'm already forgetting my home, my own home, because I've been away for so long. Please forgive me. As you can see, you guys, there's a lot of stuff that are happening in this city. A lot of constructions. I think people have healed already from the effects of war. If you can check behind me. These guys are busy building. It's a building project with that, that building behind. It's being built, it's going high and high. There's so many of these here in Bukavu. So we're gonna go to the other side. I think it's a much, much more luxurious side of Bukavu. Where they say rich people live. So we're gonna go and find out you guys, stay tuned. You guys remember this bike? It's a reliable taxi. Whew. For those who have been in Rwanda, Bukavu is more or less like Rwanda because it's comprised with hills. like you see down there see those houses there on the downhill and here we are up if you go forward that side is also up and then on this side behind these walls the lake the Kivu lake we're gonna get to see more I hope so okay she came let's take this corridor here A tope. Yeah, because it's rained so much last night, there's a lot of mud and Bukavu mud, man. So it's like sticky. You step on it, it remains on your shoe. Look at that. The city is built. On the very fertile land, you see some vegetations. I've seen a lot of cars on the roadside, not because they are parked there, but necessarily because they. They're broken, maybe missing some parts. Maybe one could make a business here, selling car parts. So many cars that are lacking parts. Therefore, they just parked on the roadside. But in this case, looks like Maybe it's a car wash. But look at that, the white one. 
the white carina. I think it needs some parts to function. Look at down there. That's the kivule. Don't, don't worry. Let's just go. Just walking in the street. You know guys what I'm saying is like this whole city you need to yeah, this is my just hand. know the names of streets by heart because <laughs> okay something at least something Avenue Mahenge number 28 so it's got some street names just some houses maybe the old ones see all these cars you guys the lacking part need some Japanese parts manufacturers you can make a lot of money beautiful houses everywhere Where you have any concern in this? This street looks like it's getting slimmer and slimmer. Have any mahenge in Bukavu? Oh my goodness, I'm so loving that view there. Uh, this house is beautiful. And the lake. Beautiful. I could That is if you cut it up. Yeah? You got it. Yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got Bien bien gars. Eh? Eh. Tu viro ya, Hotel Manof agence voyage billet. So yeah guys, we are going to Labote. Labote is known for being almost a, a an island 
because on this side, both the sides, the right and the left, is occupied by the Kivu Lake. And it's just a stream of land that goes into the Kivu Lake. Today is Sunday, you guys. That's why I'd, I think you won't see a lot of movement around because it's a ferry day on Sunday. People don't really open. A lot of Christians in DRC, they don't necessarily open their shops. And some don't even do. Those who are in the taxi business, they don't open on Sundays. So I guess this is the minimum you can get in terms of uh, how busy is the place. This is literally how it looks like. Petrol station. We're just gonna walk through and then I'll take you on the lake side on both sides I guess so you can have an idea of what Laboti is. So I hope that at the end of this video you will never ask again how does Laboti in Bukavu looks like. Kotecha. Look, Kotecha. This was one of uh, long enterprises since Mobutu. It was a manufacturing company, Kotecha, that really dominated the, the country. Look at the petrol station. I don't see any decent yet. There's a lot of cars. There's a car that has been parked here for a very long time. Probably need to be scrapped. Labote. So I guess from here there is another road on that side and if we get to that side it's the only road because then we're gonna be going deep into the island this is another petrol station and as you can see it's not opening today because it's Sunday a lot of Christians in DRC this Christian country In the place again, tenor. Place de la Paix. Place de la Paix, na <laughs> Those two hands, those hands of different colors, shows peace, and that's the reason why they call this place the place of peace. Place de la Paix in French. So from here we're deepening into the island. I'll show you once we get to that side, you guys. This on my right side is just the lake, the Kivu Lake, and on the left also is the Kivu Lake. Then you just go deep and there's buildings and buildings and a whole lot of activities going on. As you know, that lake that you can see already there, it's the Kivu Lake, which uh, Rwanda have a bigger part of it as well. And yeah, it is also in Bukavu. Let's go, let's go. This must be a taxi or maybe a shuttle. Yeah. Lot of buildings going up, lot of constructions. Yet there is no really adequate equipment for building, you guys. I don't see like those equipments I see in South Africa, they're not here. I don't know whether it's not just available or lack of people investment, uh, investing into the, you know? 
you're going to see a lot of people dressing nicely in traditional outfits. They are most likely coming from church. Residency. Okay, residence hotel. Apparently, is also famous here. Moriko sa ingali ingali a construction. Oh, it's uh, under rehabilitation. If I might say, it's a it's a it's a beautiful hotel. Apparently, here in Bukavu and well respected. Yes, there are banks as well. That's Row Bank, one of the major banks in the DRC. That's the office. I guess if you come with your dollars, you can get you can get it changed in the streets, which is different from the way they do in you know other developed countries like South Africa. You have to go to the bank. You here you can do it in the street, but also you can come to the bank. If you wanna get good deals, of course. So this is it, Labote. I think you can see the lake over there on top. It's a Kivu lake. When I eat, I eat between I eat. I eat now. Tuna jenge. Tuna jenge. Oi, denga ni amu. Huh? I'm gonna rehabilitate. I'm gonna rehabilitate. Okay. You're gonna drive up. You're gonna follow what you're gonna have my information. Hey. Talk to you. Kissing you. Kwa. My bureau. Huh? My bureau. Huh? You're gonna need a. Let me come pick us up. You are going to go to Tanzi. Vélo. Vélo moi à tout. Vélo moi à tout. Vodacom. Votre Vodacom est. They are closed because it's Sunday. So we we walking in Bukavu, guys. It's so amazing. I'm really loving it. So you guys, if you heard that in DRC, there are those. Uh, traffic lights here they're actually using a humanoid <laughs> it's a it's a humanoid as a traffic light and as you can see let's see if you can see some actions hang up hey <laughs> okay. I want to see if I'll see some actions it has changed I want to see some action. Just like that. <laughs> so amazing. And then give you some seconds. It's counting. This is beautiful. Nowhere else. <laughs> like they say. You only find that in DRC, made in Congo. 
Where is the Where is the Eh, Where is the 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 Where I have a problema. No, no, and counting 30 seconds for each route just like any traffic light works eco bank that's another bank i hear that the standard bank here google standard bank here mm. Standard bank. Okay. Bank Muay Thai. Bank standard. Bank standard. Ni bank ya free city. So good to be home. <laughs> It's really great. So there is water on both sides as we we are we are going deeper. So we are already in the almost island. I don't know the proper term I should use there. I don't know what you want to know um, about this city. What I can say is that they speak Swahili. Swahili, which is a Swahili from Congo. A little bit different from the Kenyan Swahili. And also different from the Tanzanian Swahili as the very same way. I used to come here to watch my photos when I used to take photos. I used to sell pictures when I was in high school. And this is where I used to watch them. You know those old school using films. Yeah. So Zang. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and see the water this side. Just to be sure. Let me not be lying to you guys. We're gonna go and check uh, if there is water really this side. I think from where I am I can see it already. You can see us, I don't know. Jambo. <laughs> you guys can see. I can't go further. I'm going into. I'm going to somebody's house. So we're gonna find another way uh, to check on the other side. And then I will see if we can get in the water, so I can show you. You know, from inside the water. Hey, music. And if we Shalina. Shalina. Health. Health. Health care. Mira Shangala. 
Why? Why do you guys what society and you have one name about Just like that. Healthcare Salina. It's a pharmaceutical uh, depot. Yes. Yeah. So I, I've, I've just been told we are getting closer to we are getting closer to the uh, provincial parliament, and we cannot film there. So I guess uh, from that car there, we will have to stop the video, and then we will resume afterwards. <laughs> So yeah, that's how it looks like. We're gonna go further there and then we switch off the phone from here. So yeah, guys, we just had to take a turn on the right uh, as we're avoiding this National Assembly. Uh, I mean like Provincial Assembly building. And we are told we cannot really film there. So I had to wait until I pass it to start filming again. Otherwise, we are going to the most famous hotel in the city, the Panorama Hotel. There's so much, so many buildings going high, guys. This city is, I don't know, in the next 10 years, it's going to be somewhere else on a different level. Like, never used to be like this 10 years ago. It was just slums all over this side. I'm telling you. And now, it's getting better and better. Beautiful buildings coming right every single day. You see the water that side? In between those two buildings. This is it. Still in Labote. And then this is the Panorama Hotel. The famous Panorama Hotel. <laughs> we all saw this from the, we all saw this from huge uh, i mean from facebook and yeah on the internet this is the most beautiful hotel in bukavo so you gonna now this lab the eggs in the Ingia Oku. Move panorama. Yeah. 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 Yeah to go inside you just say we have to, we just have to buy something then we can go inside I'm gonna show you guys the most beautiful hotel in Bukavu right here Panorama Hotel you are more than welcome to be a guest here let's find out what's going on in there my gear yeah. No, ini aku ikamat ni mukon ya kita. Mukon ya, saya dia tu kamera. Okay. Di. Okay. Nah, asansir aku pale. Okay. Okay. Dah, dah tu dia eskalier. Eh. Ini aku eskalier. 
about to go down right now. Okay, merci. Okay. So, we are now going to the view side. Oh my god, man, this is so beautiful. Authentic Congo. A lot of art, guys. What? These are authentic. Can you see that? These are authentic arts that are just greeting you all over around here at Panorama Hotel. So beautiful. Wow. Papa says that we are fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Panorama Hotel. As you can see, the lake is here. So, uh, the guy just told me I need to buy something, a drink or anything. Then I'm free to sit and maybe we lost, maybe we should just use the sensor. <laughs> let's just use the lift. Ladies and gentlemen, Panorama Hotel, do you have? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yes guys we're going down to the view site beautiful everything Jumbo? Hey. Yeah. Can you put that chip on me, Fanta? Ladies and gentlemen, Panorama Hotel. Life in Bukavu. This is amazing. What? Hey!
Great stuff, you guys. Great stuff, great stuff. We're about to get in the water and show you the Labote uh, district right from the lake. So we're gonna we're gonna board in that that small traditional boat. It's gonna take around all the way until to the port. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment. Anything you think about, just drop it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so. So stay tuned. Let me blow your mind right now.